Hi, and welcome to Studio Binder Academy. I'm Brandon. In this lesson, I'll be covering how to manage contacts in your account. As filmmaking is a collaborative medium, you are most likely going to be working with a lot of different people throughout your career. And over time, keeping track of their information can become cumbersome. That's where Studio Binder's contact management feature comes in. Within your Studio Binder account, there are two separate contact pages, the account level contacts and the project level contacts. The account contacts page, which can be accessed from the projects page of the account here, contains every contact that has been entered on the account, whether that be from the accounts contacts page, project contacts page, or from a call sheet. Even if a project is removed from the account, the contact information from that project will still be available on the account contacts page. You can think of this as your growing address book for everyone you have worked with. Along with contact information, you can add a contact image, set roles, rate, and add notes for each contact. The role set for a contact on the account contacts page will be that contact's default roles. These will be reflected in any new projects that are created and the contact has been assigned to. So even if the role is changed within a project, the default roles will remain unaltered unless you choose to update the default roles when making the change. You will also be able to change a contact's role on a per call sheet basis if needed without altering the project or default roles. This comes in handy if you have someone who may be wearing multiple hats within your production. For example, if a contact is both a producer and also a part of the cast, they may not be wearing both hats every day, so on each of the call sheets you can choose which role they will be occupying that day without affecting the roles on the project contacts page. One thing to note for existing call sheets is that roles that are changed on the project contacts page are not automatically reflected on these call sheets to retain the integrity of the call sheet. However, these changes will be reflected in any new call sheets that are created. Now back on the account contacts page, once a role has been set, contacts are automatically placed in groups based on their role, which you can access by clicking the filter options here on the left. Along with the pre-existing groups, you can also create custom contact lists to group your contacts however you'd like. For example, if there's a crew that always works together, you can create a custom contact list and add them to the group so you can easily select the group and see only those contacts. And rather than having to enter the contact information all over again on the project contacts page, the assign to project feature allows you to select contacts and easily assign them to a project on your account, which takes all of the information you have already entered and adds it to the project. To access the project contacts page, on the projects page, click a project to open it. Then hover your cursor over the plan option here in the left navigation sidebar and select project contacts from the pop-out menu. Any contacts that have been assigned to the project will be available here. And as mentioned earlier, if you add a contact from here on the project contacts page, it will automatically be added to the account contacts page. Many of the same features available on the account contacts page are available on the project contacts page as well, such as adding or editing contact images, roles, rates, and notes along with the preset filters and custom contact list features. However, there are some additional features. When selecting contacts on the project contacts page, you are presented with additional features to send an email message, which is a useful way to keep your cast and crew informed on the production, as well as the new call sheet feature, which will take all of the selected contacts and add them as recipients to a new call sheet. So as you can see, StudioBinder's contact management feature takes the hassle out of managing contacts. To learn more about adding contacts to call sheets, check out the call sheet series on the channel. And to stay up to date with our lessons, be sure to like and subscribe to be notified when new lessons are added. I'm Brandon with StudioBinder Academy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.